Hello, good afternoon, and this is Guinea Nature. I'm here with your reading for July 2020, which adds to a 47, which adds to an 11, which adds to a 2. So what do these numbers basically mean? Being a numerological an uh, analysis, let me explain to you that a 4 basically means organization, administration, grounding, practicality. It means work. It means your karma. It, karma as in what, uh, what you do. And it means um, uh, hard work. It means um, uh, physical exercise. It, it could, uh, it's also related to nature, Mother Earth. Four is Earth. Four is Mother Earth. Four is nature. Seven is the number of analysis. It is the number of uh, research. It is the number of learnings, teachings. And hence, because it is learnings and teachings, disappointments, disagreements, dissatisfaction, sensitivity, and uh, study, education. 11 to 11 is uh, the, the number one is related to sun and the number two is related to the moon. Now, I forgot to tell you that four and seven are basically Rahu and Ketu together. Now, how I, I'm not going to get into the astrological aspects of it, but currently the uh, planetary uh, placements have gone back to what they were almost. I'm not saying exactly the same, but almost to what they were in uh, when we had the eclipses in December and Jan, December 2019 and Jan 2020. So, well... That, I would say, the eclipses that happened at that time, whatever began then, hopefully should end with this eclipse that we've just had, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse that we're going to have on the 5th of July. And after that, we have a new moon on the 20th of July. Now, 11 is the number of detachment. 11 is the number of spiritual ascension. 11 is the number of spirituality, of connecting with the divine, with the universe. And uh, one is the number of uh, a new beginning. One is the number of independence, freedom. One is the number of, um, because it is two ones, that is the reason I'm explaining number one. One is the number of um, 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 success. So with, a, with two ones adding to a two, this month, I think, focus basically and mostly on relationships on all sectors. That is not only just your partner, your spouse, your uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, uh, but also your children. And more specifically, I would say people at work, your colleagues, your boss, your juniors, everyone. I strongly suggest that what you need to do is a, see, for me, I always believe that more than predictions, one should pay attention to the guidance that it gives us, what we need to do and what we not, don't need to do. So what we need to do is we need to have patience. We need to uh, have a positive attitude. We need to more importantly and most importantly, because it is an 11, live in the now, detach from expectations and outcomes and we need to uh, have a positive attitude towards ourselves also it's self-love and self-love doesn't necessarily mean only loving yourself it doesn't mean being selfish it doesn't mean being self-centered self-love means standing up for yourself 11 is also the number of justice uh, so, yes, a lot of justice is going to be done. 11 is uh, also the number of, in a way, I would say patience, detachment. 7 and 11 coming together could mean breakups. I am breaking it down number-wise so that you can understand better and you can understand what to expect and what you need to do. You need to have patience. You need to have patience because Mercury is in retrograde till the 12th of July. So any effort that you do, if you, if, if somebody is gossiping about you, if somebody is backstabbing you, you're trying to make up and you're trying to sit across the table and talk it out to them or explain yourself to them, it's not going to work. What is going to work is patience and instead of being reactive, to be responsive after the 12th of July. 
because mercury retrograde generally creates or brings about all uh, it it purges it purges all the emotions and the thoughts and the you know the negativity within a person or within a situation so yes things are bound to happen also being a 47 11 month a lot of people may have to quit their job may be laid off from their job or would want to leave their job because so and so said something and the boss said something or the junior said something or you know the colleague said something do not make that mistake do not make that mistake exactly why i am stressing on patience you will need a lot of patience this month that does not mean that you need to take it negatively that oh something bad is going to happen to me why Seven is the number of learnings. It's the number of lessons. It's the number of education. It's the number of study. Now, when it comes universally, it's not. Yes, of course, if you read books, if you read spiritual books, it's going to help you. But basically, what it means is going to create circumstances wherein you need to learn, where you need to correct yourself. So maybe when you are being impatient and when you are being defensive and when you are trying to explain yourself. maybe that's not what the circumstances need or what your higher self needs maybe what you need is to dive into your own self connect with the divine because 11 number is connecting with the universe with the divine connect with your inner self connect with your higher self connect with the universe the divine and learn what is your lesson in there in that situation circumstance or in that relationship because being a number of 11 to This month is going to focus a lot on relationships. Yes, there may be breakups. Yes, people may find that they, uh, you know, somebody is cheating them. Maybe if it's not their spouse, if it's not their uh, partner or best friend or something, it could easily mean somebody is cheating in the organization, in at work. It could be, you know, uh, you know, leaking documents, leaking tenders, and these kinds of things happen. it may happen a lot during this month and this understand that this year everything that happens at a global level because jupiter has just entered sagittarius where the south node is already there on the 30th of june and the way the planets are aligned because pluto is sitting with saturn in capricorn and i know that is astrology but that is deeply connected to numerology also because rahu and ketu south node and north node is what this month is all about what what this uh, rahu is what this year is all about the 2020 year which adds to a 40 and it's multifold so yes a lot of things have been happening around the world which are creating sensations especially in particular period things will change to a level where things may actually not go back to what they were in uh, november december 2019 it may be changes that are permanent so we are every day even me even my friends and everybody i hear everybody saying when will life get back to normal well if you think normal is what was in 2019 or january 2020 no uh, life may not go back to that and change is the only thing that is constant everything needs to change i mean our skin sheds every day uh, you know uh, we shed hair every day the the, the seasons change uh, the planets change so even the universally the, the planet earth needs to undergo a change there is a shift happening in the earth's um access in the earth's uh, plates and a lot of things uh, under the earth there there is a lot of shift happening which will uh, because it's a 47 month yes it may show up uh, very obviously this month as far as nature is concerned and mother earth is concerned but i don't want to talk about it let's just take each day as it comes uh, just be prepared for the best i'm not saying for the, for the worst i'm saying be prepared for the best why because you live in the moment and when you live in the moment you only look at what is best in that moment uh finance wise uh careers that will uh, uh will benefit 
of course as we see this whole year is about be is about uh, doctors uh, chemical factories uh, medicines uh, you know uh, farm phar pharmacies and uh, pharma companies and all doing well so yes that continues but other than that this month they do better this month other than that there are financial investments or financial uh, companies or financial consultants that do well the accountants the cas anything to do with finance any industry related to finance research analysis is going to do well uh, other than that uh, property wise i don't think this is the right time to invest not the right time to invest not the right time to uh, you know invest in property for the sake of investment but i i think there's nobody really wanting to invest but in case somebody wants to take a place um for investment or holiday purpose just hold on till july gets over and august will be the perfect time for you to invest in property or invest in bonds or finances or whatever uh not a good month for stocks uh other than that creative industry no the education industry yes a lot of places uh, the educational institutions are com contemplating about what needs to be done for the colleges to start for the schools to start in india in a lot of places schools have already begun and educational institutions there is going to be a major shift in the way they operate and the way the things are done but yes uh, because a lot of people are sitting at home working online doing courses online studying online this is the month to do it you should think about it if there is something that you've been looking forward to probably this is the month that you should go ahead and do it because the more you read study learn do courses even if it means going to a satsang and listening to you know words there or listening to bhajans or even if it means going and sitting in a temple as far as possible stay at home try not to go out you can listen to all of that on uh, online on youtube or other apps or uh, you know there's this there's, there's a lot of people doing these kinds of congregations on zoom um i don't use zoom because i suppose that is backed by china so i don't use it but uh, yes a lot of people are doing it uh, other than that there are other you know hangout google duo and all of that there are a lot of other apps that people are using for video conferencing and if uh, people corporate people can use uh, these apps for video conferencing uh, i don't understand why we cannot do that on a daily basis for other kinds of things well so uh, this was uh, july 2020 and uh, as far as weather is concerned i expect a lot of winds a lot of rain and uh, lots of shift in the climate and the weather unexpected understand that it is rahu ketu this is going to be unexpected suddenly it will happen and i'm i'm just hoping that it comes and it passes away let's all pray for mother earth that whatever and all the all all the living beings on this earth that whatever happens it is sustainable it is livable and uh, we all can you know come out happy from it so this was july 2020 take care i will be coming up with a tarot uh, reading for health relationships and finance and uh, I will try and answer as many questions as people do ask me on my social media. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them up maybe under this video or maybe on my social media and uh, maybe if I do a live, I do plan to do a live maybe somewhere around the 6th of July. Uh let's see what comes up. See you. Goodbye.